Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Fake Card Friday. So, for this fake card, it, this card was sent to me, and I'm gonna go ahead and review it. So, this is Blackwing Harpy Empress. Alright, I, I kinda already know where you're going with this, and I'm not liking it. So, she is a dark level 10? No. Yeah, level 10 synchro. Uh, wouldn't be synchro effect monster with uh, 3,000 attack and 2,000 defense. So stats aren't bad. 3,000, that's over the attack barrier, so no complaints there. Uh, it is made with one Blackwing tuner plus two or more non-tuner Harpy monsters, except Harpy's brother. All right, but he was changed to, what, Sky Scout? So I guess that's fine. All right, it's effect. Well, let's just talk about getting this bitch out. All right, so two or more non-tuner Harpy monsters. Harpy Ladies, they're all four. They're all level four, so that means that the, the Blackwing Tuner has to be level two, which means that it's uh, Blizzard. Yeah. So, how, how do you do this? How do you do this and pull this combo off in one turn? Of course, Blizzard can't be special summoned, so, um, you know, maybe uh, Blizzard summon a Blackwing that you're not going to do anything with, have, I don't know, activate Hysteric Party Pitch, summon two Harpy Ladies, Synchro make this, you know? Soul Charge summon the two Harpy Ladies, but of course Blizzard can't be special summoned, so just normal summon Blizzard Synchro summon into this. Uh, I don't know. This is difficult, and I don't like it. I don't like it. I'll go over it. Let me just let me just go over the card before I state what I have to state. All right. So it's a fact. This card is also treated as Wind. All right. This card's name is also treated as Harpy Lady. All right. That's fine. Uh. So, it doesn't, I don't see anything on here that it cannot be special summoned after, you know, it's been summoned properly. So, I guess you can bring it back with a, a Harpy Sartre Round. You should probably put this card that's name is treated as Harpy Lady also in the grave. So, you know, that. Because it seems like this card has to be on the field to to uh, resolve that effect that it's also treated as Harpy Lady. So, you should put, like, in the grave as long, like, with the, you know, the newer Harpy Ladies also say that they're also treated as Harpy Lady in the grave. So... Go ahead and change that. Alright. Next effect. Once per turn, special summon one level 4 or lower Blackwing or Harpy monster except Harpy's brother from your hand. How come that doesn't say you can? You should probably put that in because that looks like it's mandatory. So that looks like you have to summon each turn. You have to summon uh, a Harpy lady or a Blackwing from your hand even if you don't want to. It's because you didn't put you can. Once per turn, you can special summon one level 4. Oh yeah. So fix that. Um... Each time you special summon a Blackwing Harpy monstrous way, destroy one spell or trap your opponent controls. Okay, well that's not terrible. You know, so, go ahead and summon, pop one of your opponent's spell or traps. Uh, is that optional too? Each time you special summon, destroy. No, that's not even. That's not even option. Uh, that's mandatory as well. So you have to. So you know, if your opponent has that face down raw talk, even though it's at one, you have to destroy it. So. Maybe put, I don't know, you can and not to. This card inflicts pierce damage. Okay, that's fine. When this card is destroyed, you can remove from play one Blackwing and one Harpy monster from your graveyard to special summon this target. Okay, so it can protect itself from being destroyed. Why just destroyed? Why isn't it like removed from the field? Destruction is not really a big thing, you know? Your opponent's simply just going to summon a 101 and take you or make a Castell and spin you. So at least if you say remove from the field, you know, at least you can't get Castell. 101, you're, you're going to get grabbed, but... You know, at least with uh, Castell, you know, but the problem with 101 is that if you put yourself in defense mode, your defense is only 2,000, 101's going to run over your booty anyway, so, yeah. Anyway, let me go ahead and discuss. Uh, I don't like the concept. Uh, I, I get it. Harpies and Blackwing are both winged beasts, so they belong together, so they can have this synchro that belongs together. No, no. I get it. Both Blackwings and Harpies have consistency issues, but that's not how you resolve the decks. Con both the decks' consistency issues by taking them and smooshing them together into one deck just to make this card. It doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. Nor is this card so good that you know it's a must. You know, you know, for all the effort that you're putting in to make this this card, it's not worth it. Not even at all. You know, not even at all. Blackwings can easily make their Armor Master much easier, which, in my opinion, is a much better card than this, and. uh... And uh, Harpies, they can make Lightning Chidori much easier than this. So, you know, there's just better cards that both decks can do by themselves. You know, 
I get it. The decks both have consistency issues. They're both wing beasts. They both have Vickers attack. But that doesn't re give them no reason to be split together just for this card at all. You know? Because instead of it being like, oh, wow, the decks, when you put them together, they work so well together. No, they're just going to clog each other up. Oh, yeah. You know? You got that Heartbeat's Hunter Ground. You want to destroy some of your opponent's back row, but all you got is to summon Black Wings. Aw, oh, shit, that doesn't work. Oh, you got that Black Whirlwind? Oh, but all you got is Heartbeats to summon. You know? It, it, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work, you know? And uh, just because they're both Winged Beasts, just because they're both, you know, Icarus attackable, doesn't mean that you just blast these two decks together, you know? The right, the right way to help both these decks and fix their consistency issues is just get them more stuff, which is exactly what they got. Where they got, you know, Harpies Harpist, and they got, you know, the new Blackwing uh, guy who's the tuner guy who searches for... Help the decks' consistency by giving them more stuff, you know? For goodness sakes, instead of wasting your time making this Synchro card and being like, hey, this helps out Black Wings and Harpies, and then they can be, you know, so good because, you know, they both work together and then the deck will be like tier zero. No. If you wanted to help out Harpies and Black Wings, give them a Wing Beast Rota. Done. Because that's really what they need. As a Wing Beast Rota, increase their consistency. That's all the deck, the, that's all those two decks need is increased consistency. Because those decks have consistency issues. I know. Oh my god, Hysteric Sign is so good. And oh my god, Black Whirlwind is so good. But the problem is, if you don't get in either one of them, you run out of resources, you run out of plays, and, you know, the duel slows down to a screeching halt. And unless your, your opponent is so aggressive, they're going to kink the shit out of you. But if you don't get neither one of those two cards in the individual decks, you're really not doing much. And taking the two decks and putting them together and clogging it up, that's not going to work either. All right, people. So tell me what you guys think about this. Like I said, I gave my opinion. So uh, tell me what you guys think about Blackwing Harpy Empress. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Fridays. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another card to look at. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.